RV. I'm doing this intro by myself because Jimmy's being a giant bitch right now. Cedar can't handle the intro. You can't handle the intro. Bros! Got some fatties, dude. Check out these fatties. Bros. Some fatties ribeye. I am bro. definitely not gonna be able to eat that whole thing tonight. I eat all that. <laughs> well, you're kind of putting a lot of meat on my plate right now. But yeah. no, these are not the only meat I'm gonna have to eat tonight. <laughs> so. You can handle the meats. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> All right, so check these bad boys out. We're gonna wish our love. Don't, I forgot my grill though, so we're gonna improvise on the way that we're gonna cook these. Um, yeah. But we are gonna grill them, but we had to improvise. Yeah. Because I forgot my grilling utensils. I mean, I'm ass. Yeah. We're gonna let these bad boys marinate for a little bit in that sauce. I mean, wow, soy sauce. Wow. That wish I Or store to shore. What do you think they cost? The Best price? guess, a piece. They look like they're twenty-four bucks. They're like twenty-two bucks. Oh my God, you son of a bitch! A piece? Yeah. What do you think this is, James? Twenty-four dollars with the steak right there, baby. Do you think we're the queen and king of England? We're not, Tudor. We just bought this RV four seconds ago. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> This is exactly why you don't this send your first... bougie husband to the store by himself. This is our first time to take the RV out that we bought. And um, so I was like, bro, our, all, all the other meals are like indoor cooking. These are going to be grilled. And I was like, I ain't almost some big. I've been craving some steak, too, dude. This video is sponsored by Diet Coke. Coca Light has known in Mexico. It's really not though. Diet Coke, you should sponsor us. Unlike the Bud Light. Ooh. Dude. <laughs> this fire. Dude, it's always like when you cook on a new grill, you just don't even know what's going on. Yeah. This fire wasn't that hot, man, so it didn't char up like I like it. It charred yeah. up a little bit. But. Okay. I was worried I was overcooking it because it was on for a while. Yeah. But that looks pretty yummy. Oh, it's very yummy. Looks pretty yummy, dude. We just like to get a little more char, but because it was a new grill and because oh we. God. Is it great? Oh my god. It looks so good, though, dude. It's pretty fucking good, dude. Oh Yay! My god, dude. It turned out amazing, though. It's so tender and it's like falling apart. It's like so weird how I trust like your taste in things because like my mouth's literally watering just hearing you tell me how good it is because I'm like, I know he's right. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh my God. Guys, I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. God. Okay, what? Try it, bite. Okay, let's go. Mm. Oh my God. Dude, that was like the perfect balance of fattiness and yumminess. Well, I will say though, those flavored uh, coals, I feel it did make it taste a little different. It's pretty damn good. It's pretty good, dude.
Get out of here, bro. But yeah, you can hear all the splashing in the background. Maybe the See it, bro. But there's there's like, tons of carp. Uh, I think it's about spawning season. They, I think they spawn twice a year, and this is one of the seasons. So they're freaking out over here. We might go get some corn just for funsies. Similar spot. He's not even a big guy. For a car, he's pretty small, but he's so fun. Oh, wow. Come on, baby. Oh, he just snapped. Oh, I see you guys. That's so fun. Let's get another one. I like the way those look with the big, um, the big scales. The big scales, really cool. I don't love handling carp, so I won't be mad at it if that's how we catch all of them. <laughs> but it's fine. Did the hook pop out of his mouth or did it snap off? No, it looks like the, it just popped out. I could have gone a little gentler towards the bank, but we didn't have a net over here anyway, so I was kind of like, I'll either get him up or I'll swim off here. <laughs> that was kind of my thought. Right. Some people don't always put their finger in the carp's butthole. Wow. Just some people do. <laughs> it's so tight, though. Thirty second trial to see if it's got a weird noise. Jimmy's eating jerky. No, I'm eating jerky. This might pack a suck because I keep making a buzzing sound, but maybe we have got flux by to switch up off the ears. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Y'all name brand and shit and fucking up. Velveeta shells, like <laughs> macaroni. 
picture. I yeah. saw it on the shelf and me and Jimmy mutually decided that that sounded interesting. Also, we ate all of our cheese getting really munchy last night, so. Let's just do Velveeta burgers. Nope. Oh, yeah. Crabby Patty. This is one of our creations. We do a lot of them. Welcome to the channel where you can learn how to cook bootleg on a campsite. And make yummy, yummy Krabby Patties. Alright guys, so this video is our first video to film in our new RV. So it's sponsored by me and Jimmy's Pocket. Welcome. Yes. <laughs> new keto buns. Keto or whatever. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's incredible, man. We just smoked McDonald's. Dude, and I is, love McDonald's. This is like a crazy yummy hyped up McDonald's McDonald's burger, dude. Yep. It's a messy, yummy burger, bro. This video is sponsored by, by Velveeta. <laughs> you know Just let Velveeta know. Keep it cheap. Is that even their line? No, I just made it up. Oh, God. I think you could sell that line. <laughs> that line of Velveeta, though. You could. It's a good one. I mean, how's that cheesy. not like the best line for Velveeta? That's all they do is keep it cheesy, bro. Real cheesy. It's genius. I know. Trademarked. That was trademarked. I said so. Trademarked it. I don't know watch the video. Trademarked. Velveeta. Keep it cheesy. Well, I think first thing is to show them the outside. Okay, let's show them the outside. Let's show them the outside. Sounds like a nice idea, Tootie. Get my shoes on, though. Okay. Got a storm blowing in. Storms are blowing. Look at a little. Look at a little overcasty, a little darky, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, that wind's probably coming through strong. Sorry. So this is the outside. This is what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? We got it on in with the LEDs. Yeah, the on in. We got it up right now because the wind sound, as you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. This is the lake. This is our view right now. Dude, it's pretty dope. All right, let me give you the tour. Tour time. Walk in. Okay. I place. This is master bedroom right here. Yo. Yeah. yeah. Very you know nice. Saying? Got two sliding doors. Shut it off. Yep. You got freaking hangers that you can hang clothes. And I like how the bedroom shuts off from like the other stuff. Yeah, you got a USB on both sides and plugs so you can charge stuff up. We got videos freaking exporting right now for you guys. <laughs> um, TV. Got a yeah. DVD player here. Fireplace, which is a heater also, obviously. It would change the work. colors on it so I can see that. That's pretty cool. Blue, orange, and then a purple, or, or blue and orange, I guess. Looks kind of purpley when you add the orange in, but anyway. Okay. Kitchen. Sink. Kitchen. Water glasses. Yes. <laughs> Water glasses are included in this RV, so that's nice. Got the stove pot and the oven. The lighting's sexy, too. Pretty sexy. Microwave, Microwave fridge. fridge. Kind of self explanatory. Vodka. Vodka. Someone left that here. It's not ours. This is our pantry. <laughs> Got our dining room. Pantry. Which turns into a bed, too. Yeah, and, and the couch, the couch turns, turns into, into a bed. bed. We got foam beds over here, dog. 
Bump what we're we using for storage right yeah, now? Yeah, we don't have the kids, so this is just kind of, we're lazy and we put it in here instead of putting it where it should go, so. This is the bathroom? Bathroom, sure. Throughout the shower and the toilet. A little vent on top. Oh crap, it's gonna rain, we might wanna close that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think it's open right now. No, it's closed. Dude. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, just kidding. So yeah. Yeah, no. It's pretty sexy, bro. Check that out. Yeah. Fucking sexy, man. Tell you what. Yeah. Got the radio over here built in. Oh, yeah, and it Bluetooth. Got the Bluetooth with indoor speakers and outdoor speakers, and you can turn which ones you want on and which ones you don't. Yup. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to a weekend at Whitney with us. Cheers. It's our RV. It's fucking bitches. Ours. No, I'm just kidding. We are <laughs> shit, bro. I cannot believe it. Cheers to the fam. Cheers, fam. Cheers to the tutor. Cheers, tutor. You do your shot when it is. Well, stuff. cheers. You oh, got cheers. cheers. Yeah, new cheers. RV, Dude. new me. So, we were planning on getting the boat first, um, but then, it's like a really long story, but basically this thing is a 2021. It was used three total times, and we got like an insane deal on it. So, we couldn't pass it up. We should still be buying the boat at the end of the year, um, but we had to buy this motherfucker first. We had to get it. We weren't even like up on the, really we weren't even, looking, no, but it just sort of fell into our laps. We wanted one, but Dude, we, one we weren't even time. looking for one, but it just kind of... It just sort of was like, hey, happen, what's up? Bro. Here we go. All right, guys, the storm we were referencing just came in, and this is why we can't freaking fish all weekend because it's being a bitch. Hopefully it clears out some of the days. We're gonna find out, my guy. All right, guys, we're trying to just have a peaceful night in the RV. We Low just got hit at Lofers Bend with a tornado recently, so the fact that the clouds up top are moving one direction and the ones down bottom are moving a different direction, not ideal. Yet a fucking again, we're about to die at Lofers Bend Dude, on Whitney. Dude, what the fuck, man? It literally looks like a tornado is about to happen. Every time we freaking camp here. And to, to boot on that, we moved our asses like stupid as fuck to the prettiest spot, which is on the very tip of the cove of the lake that just got hit by a tornado last time we were at Lover's Bend. So that makes sense. Let's move towards the water. The Waffles fam either dies for the first time or survives a second tornado. Potentially. My god. Dude, might as well get drunk, dude. I'm over it. If I die, I die. At least I'll die happy. Dude, our RV's probably gonna roll down the hill. Hey, our insurance company valued it. We're gonna go down the hill into the water, guys. Our insurance company valued the RV at $6,000 above what we paid for it. Maybe a little bit more than that, okay? So, if the RV... Hey, man. That'll be okay. But if we die, we got a whole ass problem. Hey, listen. Maybe our insurance will pay for it if we die. No, they won't. Yeah, and then we'll just have... We'll be like rich, dead people. How do you do social? Because the insurance paid for it. We'll just be like rich... Who do you think they're gonna pay out? And they're gonna pay us dead. out. That doesn't make sense. You're supposed to be dead. In the afterlife. Oh my god. <laughs> we're gonna be like rich from the insurance policy. No, we're not. We can have rich afterlives if we just roll off the hill in our RV and die. Okay. Are we seriously encouraging people to die in an RV? Because they might be rich in the afterlife, which we have zero proof of. It's a new cult. We're what if they're the poorest? The RVs. It's a new thing. But what if they're literally the poorest we, I in the just, afterlife? We just started this. It's our okay. new thing. Now we have a cult. We have a cult with our, we go from Again, RV park. Jimmy. RV, <laughs> RV park to RV park, and we convince people to roll their RVs Wait. off a cliff. And kill themselves in the RV, Guys, and then they are gonna, oh. they're gonna get the insurance money, and they're gonna live a magical I afterlife. Think, Jimmy, because I think we need to tell them what. Before we started the waffles, fam. Okay, we yes. had a small cult. It was only like four thousand people, 
And I don't think this happened. A lot either. of people died. Um, really, like everybody except for two. Uh, I'll let you guess on that. And uh, mm. we feel really bad about it. And that's why we're trying not to start this cold lifestyle about how if you don't live in an RV and get electrocuted and die or throw yourself off a cliff, you don't get any money in the afterlife. I mean, I would never start a cult like that. Dude, it's but not it's a true. good idea, guys. about to make eggplant parmesan, bro. Eggplant parmesan. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Eggplant parmesan. Eggplant parmesan. Eggplant parmesan. Eggplant parmesan. Eggplant parmesan. Eggplant parmesan. Oh my god. Eggplant parmesan. Eggplant parmesan. Eggplant parmesan. Let me see the cities. Let me see the cities. Eggplant parmesan. Eggplant parmesan. I don't know what you just said, like, at all. You really do. Okay. That's a good point. Oh, no. I might have got some shot there. Oh, no. Ew. What was that? Was that you? What? Okay, it was you then. Did you? Ow. Ow! Is there eggplants for you? You're about to get an eggplant in your ass. That's rude. You're rudy. You're rudy. You said eggplant ass. That's even more rude. I said you're about to get an eggplant in your ass. I don't like it. Guys, this is our fucking RV, bros. That's a really good transition. That was a really good transition, Jimmy. Good job. <laughs> I'm very good at transitions. I'm going to get an eggplant in my ass. To look at our nice RV, guys. <laughs> 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 this is eggplant parmesan. It's amazing. Um... I have been making this recipe for 40 generations. I am 370 years old right now, and I've made this eggplant parmesan for Jimmy, but it was originally made for my great, 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 great grandpa. So, it's whatever, I don't care. Bro? Do you got bro cheese, dude? bro? Bro, dude. Bro, dude. Do you got, got fucking cheese, though? The vodka sauce is also cooking. Do you got, got fucking cheese. cheese, though, dude? Yeah, dude. Cheese is on deck. I don't think you got the cheese. Where's bro, the cheese? Bro, I got the cheese, bro. You don't even Where know. Where is the cheese? Cheese. It's over there. It's really not me, cheese. It should be. I mean, in theory. It looks really nummy. Freaking oof. A little bit of that guy. Do a little bit of this guy. That's us throw Parmesan. All right, children. I have now made my eggplant Parmesan dish and fried these amazing eggplants and Parmesan them. And then I add some vodka sauce because of health. That's important. And that's it. That's my beautiful eggplant farm. Parmesan, homemade, hand fried, vodka sauce is purchased because fuck it. Dude, ooh, crunch. Dude, I hope this is good, not mm. shit. Mmm. That's very good. 
This tastes like some like super bougie, yummy ass Ravi Old. <laughs> Alright, Chef Gloria D shit, but like, this is a huge version. I haven't made this dish in so long. It's literally been probably three years. It's pretty good. And it's like, what, eggplant, man? You did it, Tudor! All weekend you've been fishing. Well, not really. We've barely been fishing because it's been pouring. Woo! Let me fish That's awesome, too. I was just teasing him about He's how probably in my fish. other line. But right yeah. here. I need to go over or under? What's going I on? Can't under, tell. under, under. Okay. There we go. It's pretty windy this morning. I'm all tangled up in my other line, but yeah. there we go. Oh, he's he's decent. Nice. Car fishing. Car fishing. Car. What you know about that car fishing? Yeah, pull him here, I'd say. You don't know nothing, cause you don't car fish. <laughs> All right, here, let me see it. Yep, you got it. Woo. Sorry, I'm you gonna get my. Fish, I'm gonna dude. get my shoes wet. Look at you catching a fish. He's not ready yet. He's he's still. He's still trying to fight me over he here. He might get into my line, just a warning. Oh my God, my shoes are gonna get soaked though. Okay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm indoor cat in this situation. Yeah, I've got everybody's lines fucked up now. That's good, that's really good. Dude, carp, man. They just fight so hard though. That's why they're so fun, dude. He's like, nah, dog, shred it. Dude, he's one of those mirror carps too, I think, with the big uh, scales. All right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> it's like no dog. What do you think on. this is? Come on. Oh, man. Oh. Be careful. Ah. Careful with the line. Got there it. There you go. <laughs> Woo. You did it. I did it. Now remember the rule, Jimmy. No fingering carp buttholes. No fingering carp buttholes. Dude, he's really weird he's looking. He's a crazy looking carp. Ew. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of grody. His scales are gnar, dude. How oh bad is this? Oh, God, you just splashed my face. <laughs> you got, I literally How like, bad is his hook set, woo, though? How, do, how did he choke it? What's going on here, Brody? I'm going to need the red thing, I think. Or okay. might be able to get it with pliers. He's got like one of the ugliest carp I've ever seen. Dude, though. seriously. <laughs> carp fishing, finger butthole. Don't finger his butthole. We talked about this. Dude, he's a weird carp though. I don't know, bro. It's so weird how like he's got scales, but like there's also like big patches with no scales. I don't know what is going on. He looks like he's a, a very. Wart. To me. He's a very unique carp. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, put him back. Oh my god. Freaking Jordan. You forever no. traumatized me. <laughs> okay then. Just wanted to say, love you guys. Right it's, back home. It's been an awesome weekend here in Freedom RRV. Yeah. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to check out our giveaway, our bi-monthly giveaway, and comment fish on on this video, and be subscribed to the channel to enter to win. All right, we gotta clean up. We'll we gotta see clean you guys up. next time. We gotta head home. Till the next adventure. Mm.